In this lecture, we will talk about three main topics, which is understanding the definition of programming from a practical perspective, exploring certain real life applications where programming is making things happen, and understanding a little more about how programming actually unlocks the potential of computers. In a very basic manner, programming can be defined as the process of creating computer programs. Here, the one thing which you should notice is the fact that it doesn't include any particular language as such. Programming is the process of creating computer programs. And that's all you have to remember every time you are writing a code, irrespective of what programming language and what problem statement you are dealing with. At a more functional level, programming includes writing the code, testing to make sure whether it is doing what it is expected to do, and maintaining the code in a particular programming language. Because you, to write a computer program, you need at least one programming language. But overall, it can be done with multiple programming languages. So that's where the difference is, that you need to understand basically what you are trying to achieve, then select a programming language, and then get it done. The obvious question is, why is this kind of complicated sounding process even necessary? And the point is that the code which you write provides the specific instructions for the computer to do certain things. Remember, computer is a bunch of circuits operating on electricity. It cannot understand human, uh, human language easily. This particular translation is done through programming. Following are some of the well-known real-world applications which most of you might be targeting as your potential job opportunities as well. The first one is web development. Remember, these are not in any particular order. So uh, it is just the way things have got listed. So web development, which is creating web pages, which is serving content and facing the end user. Mobile app development, which is, again, complying with the mobile's ecosystem and creating applications for the end users. Data analysis, which is part of all the business intelligence activities going on in corporations. Artificial intelligence is gaining traction significantly once the frameworks have become open source. The video game development has been going on for decades. Automation is again becoming a prime use case for programming because with so much infrastructure uh, being built in the such a short time, you need it to be controlled in a programmatic manner. And that's where the absolute fundamentals of programming are enough for you to adapt to any automation framework or language which is being used. Looking at the world from a computer's perspective means there are a lot of opportunities because computers are versatile tools and they can be configured to perform a wide range of tasks. Use of programming allows us to narrow down all those possibilities to the things which we actually require. And that's what software solutions do. They solve a particular problem for the end user. And programming is the tool which allows the hardware to perform those actions. The configurable nature of computers comes from the compatibility with programming. Basically, programming is the medium through which we can configure those computers to perform multiple different tasks without actually having to change the underlying hardware. And that flexibility comes from programming and software. Otherwise, the hardware will be very limited to the electrical signals and responses they are pre-built to handle. Beyond that, the customization is not possible. Programming is the thing which makes it possible. 